Guys, are you ready to see a comparison between the A7 IV and the Canon ESR-8? Now, if you want to see these two head-to-head, -head, stay tuned because that's what we're doing right now. So, the A7 IV settings, got the 35mm on the A7 IV, the 35mm 1.8 Sony lens. On the Canon R8, I've got the Canon RF 35mm 1.8. So I got their equivalent focal ranges. I'm going to set it up the same way I have in the a 7 IV. The a 7 IV is set up at uh, 1 over 50 shutter speed, 24 frames per second, ISO 100. And it's just in the standard picture profile, nothing fancy. And I'm going to do the same thing with the Canon R8. And then we can kind of just compare the footage. And can you really see the difference? I don't think so. Uh, but uh, just to kind of show you, like, hey... What is $1,000 more going to get you? If you're just using it for talking heads or for vlogging with the 16mm 2.8 with the Canon EOS R8, which I have videos on, it works great, even with no IBS in here, then is it worth to go up to spend more on the R6 Mark II or, you know, whatever, you know? So just kind of give you the option to see what it looks like. All right, guys, I got the Canon R8 and the Sony a7 IV right next to each other, Okay. 35 millimeter lens. They're both running at the same time. They're both at the uh, 1 over 50 shutter speed, 24 frames per second. However, peculiar is they have different ISO tolerances because the A7 IV right now is, is at 125 ISO. The R8 is at 200 ISO, and I think it's a little underexposed. But... What do you think? How's that look? Now they're both set, just their standard profiles, kind of the way they come right out of the camera, and this is what you'll see. How's that look? Can you tell much of a difference between the Canon R8 or the A7 IV? But same lenses, but I, I believe the Sony just it lets in more light because I've noticed that the ISO is, you can always have it lower and you get, a little more exposure out of it for whatever reason you know so for instance I and mean, they're right next to each other it's the same room I mean they're six inches away from each other the lenses are actually six inches away from each other so that it's not different in lighting so I don't know it's just less than a little more light but anyways either even so 200 ISO on the Canon R8 what do you think guys just wanted to give a quick comparison so you, you could see the two and for me to be able to see the two together, just to see what I'm missing or I'm not missing with the R8 versus the A7 IV, which is a thousand dollar difference. And I love my A7 IV, I do. It's a great camera. I mean, great hybrid camera. But R8 punches way above its weight too. So just wanted to throw that out at you so you could see and compare for yourselves, um, see what might you know look better to your eye compared to what you see. All right, guys, now we're going to do a low light test between the two, and I'm going to drop the lights down, and we're going to check that out and see what that looks like. So now this is really weird. I got a 1,000 ISO on the A7 IV, right? The R8 next to it, and that is on 3,200 ISO. So that's like 2,200 ISO difference. Now, the screen is kind of hard to tell, but they look similar, and um, yeah. I don't know. That's just a weird thing. I'm going to try to go down even lower in light and to see what it looks like the, there. But you definitely need the higher ISOs on the R8. Now, it might be the lens. The actual lens itself, I think the Sony 35 just lets more light in than the Canon 35 does. I think that's what, you know, is probably going on here. But I find it very interesting. I mean, you're talking about 2,000 ISO difference. For the same amount of light uh, maybe the Canon's a little more overexposed let me check that so if I leave the Canon at the same ISO as the a7 IV that is what we get at the same ISO 1000 on the Canon and 1000 on the Sony this is what we this is what we're looking at right here all right now we are at 16,000 ISO on the a7 IV and the R8 the Canon R8 ISO 16,000 how does that look? Same settings, 1.8 aperture, 35 millimeter, 
1 over uh, 50 shutter speed, 24 frames per second, 4K. All right. Now, I've got my light down to 1%. If I drop it down, I'll have zero light in here. All right, guys, I'm going to test this at 16,000 ISO at the max here. I've got one little teeny rectangle light at 1% bouncing against the wall. That's all I have for light. If you if this is all you have for light or less, all you got to do is turn a light on. So at this point, I'm not going to go past 16,000 because I think that's silly. I don't think you're going to be out there shooting less than, you know, 16,000 ISO. I mean, add some light to the subject. But this is what they'll both look like. The Canon EOS R8 and the A7 IV next to each other. Same exposure, same everything. Just all I changed was the ISO. So understand the different lenses can affect that too. You know, some lenses let in a little more light. Some sensors are more light sensitive, but... I thought it would just be neat to compare the two to see what, what they look like next to each other. Are they close enough to where it really wouldn't make much of a difference? On these little screens, it's hard to tell. So once I look at post, uh, I'll check it out. But as far as I can see, uh, I think it looks great. I'll post a little thing up here that says what my final verdict is. But yeah, I mean, they both look good. I mean, it does seem like the Sony's just has a little more light let in, but... For whatever reason, whatever. I mean, nothing wrong with the can. It's still working good. If you want to see any more videos, leave some comments below of what you'd like to see, some comparisons to things, and I'd be happy to do that. Like and subscribe if you like what I do, and if you don't, like it anyway. All right, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.